Hey folks, so I'm going to show you how to make a graph in Excel. Um, keep in mind though that I am on a Mac, so if you're on a PC, it's going to look different. Also, I'm using the 2008 version. If you're using another version, it's going to look different. So, um, a lot of the things are similar, but if you finish the video and you're stuck, I suggest go to YouTube and search the parameters for the type of computer and the version that you have and I promise you somebody has done a YouTube tutorial on it. So in the Mac what I like to do is bring up my toolbox um, and then also I like to view the normal layout um, just because I don't like seeing that page break there and let's go ahead and also zoom in just so it's easier for you guys to see what's going on. We'll go to 150%. So the first thing that we need to do is put our data down into a matrix. So this is for my induced lactation study. So we'll do cow ID in the rows. And in the columns, let's do the daily yield. So we've got um, cow Maisie, cow Dutter, and cow Bo. And then on day one, Maisie produced 23 milligrams of milk, Dutter produced 12, and Bo produced 33. And I'll just go ahead and fill in the rest of the data here. And we'll do it for four days. So now that we have our data put down in a matrix, you're going to highlight that matrix and then insert chart. And the chart is the same thing as a graph. Another way you can do it is just click this chart tab right here. And, you know, there's a lot of different ways of doing what I'm about to show you. I'm just going to show you what is habitual for me. I'm sure there is easier and faster ways of doing it, so you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it uh, to get the same outcome. Now we need to decide what type of graph we're going to use. Since this is a continuous data set because it's daily milk yield from the same cow so the 23 and the 34 and the 55 and the 70 milliliters of milk are all related because they're from the same cow so we're going to use a line and then um, stay away from the 3d graphs and also the graphs that show the individual data points you know, we just want to be very simple, very easy to read, so I usually choose the first one. And here we go. Now we can make this as big or as small as we'd like. So you can just check here that this is relating correctly to the information we inputted, and it is. Now we need to edit this chart. So um, go over to chart options and do a chart title. We need a descriptive title. This is a daily milk yield for our treatment heifers. And now we need to label the axes. And let's do our x-axis, which is the days down here. So we'll just put day. So now it's day one, day two, day three. Now our y-axis. And um, this over here is your milk yield in milliliters. And always remember to include your units. So that looks pretty good. Um, we've got our legend over here that already has our cow IDs. We've got 
both axes are labeled. We've got a title. So now what you can do is highlight this chart, just a single click, and you can um, copy this. And now we can open up um, a new Word document. And we can just paste this um, chart right in here. And um, actually, um, now we can you know do our text around the chart. And the last thing that we want to make sure to do is to include some type of a description. So um, you know your description. I'll zoom in for you. Your description on this should be um, showing, um, you know, daily milk yields in milliliter for each of the three treatment heifers, Maisie, Dutter, and Bo. And then you want to describe, you know, like the trends that you've seen. So, um, Bo had the uh, most, the highest milk yield on both day one and four. Um, then you can say uh, Maisie had, well, let's go with Dutter. Dutter had the lowest milk yield on day one but was comparable to the milk yield of Maisie by day four. So you know just kind of uh, summarizing exactly what you see on this. Now if you wanted to make a table I found that the easiest way to make a table is just to go ahead and do it straight in uh, Word. A lot of the newer versions of Excel automatically make a table for you whenever you make a graph, but um, this is the way I like to do it. You just click on the table here and then you pick you know, what your matrix is going to be. So. Um, if we were going to do like the table that we did in Excel, we would have um, our cow ID and then our days. And we had four days, so we're going to need five columns. And then we had three cows, so we'll need four rows. And now we can go ahead and put in cow ID and then... Uh, daily milk yield milliliters and then we can go ahead and put Maisie Dutter and Bo and um, insert our data here just like we did before and then we want to just type in um, table 1 and have a title for it Daily milk yields in milliliters for treatment heifers. Um, so like this one already has the title. The last thing that we need to make sure to have here is a graph one. That way when we're in our writing in our paper we can refer to graph one versus table one. And then same thing you would want to have um, a description down here that summarizes what you're seeing um, and you would probably even refer to some of the numbers that are coming up and that is how you're going to make your tables and figures in Excel hope that helps you guys